going into the background of any of those things. Again, I'm in Tamaguna. I'm not seeing the consequence of it. What is the consequence? So many people are watching you. You are in this satsang. You cannot afford to raise your voice. You cannot afford to raise your voice. You cannot afford to scold anyone in satsang. Because this is a place of tolerance. This is a place where you have to understand each other. This is a place where if somebody tells like that, keep quiet. Don't say, why did you hit me? No. This is not the place. You have heard the story of Namdev being hit by Gora Kumbar. And he is the... Everyone he hates. Nobody says anything. Only Namdev says like this. Why you are hitting us? I am your guest. So he says, this is the unripe, unbaked pot, he says. This is the unbaked pot. Because... And now there is insulted now. So if somebody points out your fault in the satsang, you will be insulted. If the fault is not yours, then you won't be insulted. But the other person needs to understand that I have accused him or her unjustified. My accusation is unjustified. See? Very, very subtle points. And the most damage you will be doing to the satsang is there is such a cohesiveness, such a beautiful atmosphere is there. And you are putting one drop of lime into the milk, making it. Ek machli talam karam. One wrong fish, the entire, entire pond will be spoiled. That is why as the satsang grows, you need to find out who comes to the satsang. And you need to be very, very choosy, careful. Careful about this one. Irresponsible statements, they will really. So always do the thing right first time itself, everywhere, every time, all the time. If you study, when you are studying in the early, I mean, in June, July, August, September. In March, you don't have regrets. Energy. In March? <laughs> in March, you won't have regrets. If you don't pay attention to How do you pay attention to the teacher? By looking at the teacher. Is it not? If you look here and there, means, that means you are not paying attention. So you have to look at the teacher always. Your eyes should be always on the teacher. Okay? We don't have the capacity to listen. We don't listen at all. So, you want hundred percent listening capacity, then you've got to focus on the teacher. Even when your eyes are on the teacher, your mind will be somewhere else. See? So, you need to be very good. If the eyes are not there, the mind is anywhere else also. So at least keep the eyes on the teacher so that the mind will start becoming on the teacher. That's very good. That way you will be getting everything. That's the first thing you have to do. So do the thing right first time itself in the house. So there are four places you need to take care of. One is your house. There should be zero quarrels, zero complaints, zero anything in the house. That's a practice, akhada. That's your ground where you are practicing. If you want to be sattvic, we are talking about sattvic mode. In the office, zero problems, zero quarrel, zero thing. All your friends in the office, everyone is your friend. Don't judge them. In your classroom, everyone is your friend. Don't say, this is my enemy. <laughs> Don't say that, you know, my enemy. Yeah. Am I enemy by now? No, no, not yet. Okay. I'm not enemy yet. Okay. So office, this is it. And in the house. And in the satsang. No quarrel. Zero quarrel. Satsang you get opportunity to listen, to be obedient, to be nice, to love each other. So this satsang is about to complete now 29 years. I'm stepping into 30th year. Mighty, giant, giant step.
So here is here is uh, something for you to think it over. Right. We saw now up to 30th sloka, it's all about it. You can always read those things, very easy. Nothing, nothing much about it. And then we come to the 40th sloka. <laughs> yesterday we did. When, what sloka we have done yesterday? Uh, See? Yeah, 41. 45. 45, yeah. We will be doing it, some of them again. 42. 42 shows the qualities of those who want liberation. Those who want liberation are called in ancient times and now also we can call them as Brahmanas. Brahmana means not by caste. You see? Brahmana means those who are called the Brahmapata. Those who want the Lord, those whose mind is on the Lord, such people are Brahmana. Those who are in the Brahmapata. So their qualities are given there. They are subjugating their mind and body, enduring hardships for the discharge of one sacred obligation. Your obligation here in the satsang is always to have a koheju atmosphere. See, you are not grouped as a... We are uh, North Indians, we are South Indians. No, there is no group here. We are Tamilians, we are Kanarikas, we are Kerala. No, no system. No system. So, what language you should speak in this satsang? What language you should speak? What language you should speak? Love. Language of love, yes, but what is the alphabet for that? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Which language you should speak? When you are in the satsang, what language you should speak? Common language. Common language. And what is that language? English. English. Because some of you didn't study Hindi, so we have to borrow the foreign language for that. So English. You can't speak Tamil, you can't speak Malayalam. These are prohibited languages. Because majority means, majority means warning, big warning. Red, red flag, majority means. If you are Tamilians are more than Tamilians is absolutely one jump, first one, number one. If Keralites are more, then Kerala is Kerala language is banned. Kannada, no Kannada language. Only language you can speak is Hindi. It is national language. Yeah. So irrational languages don't speak. Only national language you can speak. <laughs> So all other languages are irrational language. See, your quarrel language is that. Quarrel language in Telangana and all these quarrel languages. <laughs> these languages, see, everything was because of Putti Ramalu, I think. Who started it from. Anyway, the point is common language. And you will see that moment you speak in your language, you are saying to the other person, huh? So don't say kai no, 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 you say no kai because immediately other person doesn't know what you are, you are abusing or you are, <laughs> don't say this thing, always, always the language is this, in the satsang, during the satsang, till we reach your car, and then in the car you speak whichever language, <laughs> till we reach your car, and the important thing is outside, there are certain rules are there which you have to follow. They are all rules, but right now the tamas need to be avoided. So how to avoid tamas? One is when you are singing bhajan, don't sing with loud noise, because we don't know who the people are. If there is an American Navy or if there is something like that, then you have real problem. You see, the complaint means that this, it will be closed down immediately. So don't do that. No loud speaking, loud language, loud listening bhajans and everything. Never keep the door open and then bug, 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 bug. No. Never keep the door open. If you want to go out, decide you really want to go out. Okay? <laughs> then say bye bye to whoever wants to say. The best thing is if you if you keep on saying to all the people bye bye and all people saying bye bye, that will become fifty multiplied by fifty, two thousand five hundred bye byes. <laughs> that means eleven o'clock. 12 o'clock, there is no...